Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and today I'm going to go into a brief introduction of what an array is. An array is an object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type. So you can't have a, uh, an array that holds strings and ints. So you're going to have to declare the, val the data type at the very beginning and you're going to have to put nothing but that in there or else you're going to get an error. So I'm going to start off by coding this for you and just talking it out. We're going to declare an integer array. So you're going to want to say int. Now I'm going to say jersey numbers because I'm going to throw in just some of my favorite hockey players' jersey numbers. And then for Java to know that it's dealing with an array, you're going to want to put brackets with nothing inside. And the brackets can be on either side of jersey numbers. That doesn't matter. And you're going to want to say equals new in the data type that you instantiated or called it and which is int and then we're going to have other brackets right here put a semicolon right there um, but inside here we're going to want to, to set the size of this array and we're going to say 10 and this will not change you can't change it you can duplicate the array and make it bigger but it won't be the same exact array so once you set it that's the size of space allocated for it in memory and what we can do now is put values into this array jersey numbers and in computer language when you start counting you start counting at from 0 to 1 to 2 instead of 1 2 3 4 so if I let's say that I wanted the element at this index and we're going to set that to uh, 28 you cannot do if I said Jersey numbers 10 that would be out of its range so it won't work so we can do 0 through 9 let me show you that 10 won't work well it's working here but if you printed it out you would get an error so let's, let's show by example real quick so this out I'm going to do control space and then we're going to put in jersey numbers and I should have made that variable name a little shorter let's see what happens I should say array index out of bounds error it does exception and thread array index out of bounds exception uh, 10 and when you look at these exceptions look down here to see what line of code it's on or what line let's uh, right click this and say show line numbers I like that that makes life a lot easier so at uh, line 7 yep yeah, right here so when we instantiate that let's put this to nine let's change this number uh, who, who do I want to put it? let's put an 87 in there okay so you get an 87 um, there is a quicker way of putting values in so you don't have to keep uh, writing this out and, and plugging in a value for each index so let me show you how to do that let's um let's do a for loop I'll show you a for loop of how to loop through this real quick and see the values for int i or let's just say index equals zero we're going to say while index is less than Jersey numbers dot length. So it's going to say while the index is less than 10 because the index or the length you set to 10. So it's going to go through Jersey number 0, Jersey number 1, and it's going to go all the way to 9. And 9 is less than 10. And as soon as it says Jersey numbers 10, it will not run this code and it'll exit out. And the last parameter is going to be to increment index okay and now what we're going to want to do is this out 
looking to type this out. Control space, jersey numbers, and we're going to put brackets, we're going to put index. So every time index is zero, so it's going to print out index zero first, and then it'll go to one. And I've only put in values for zero, one, and nine, just so I don't take up all your time initializing it. So I, uh, let's see if we get a null or a zero. I don't think we'll get a zero. I'm pretty sure we'll get a null. Oh, we got zeros. So it went through real quick and printed out all the values. Uh, let me show you a quick way of initializing this right off the bat. So instead of saying new int 10, we can do let's open close some curly brackets. And inside here, we just give it values 12 and the comma separated. So 12, um, 56, 87, 9, 8, uh, 19, 91. And if that's all I put in, that's what the size is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's sum this out. Jersey numbers, and we'll put it's seven long. Let's just put in five, and I think we should get 19. Let me comment this out so it won't run through real quick. Okay, so it's going to print out the fifth element. So it's going to say zero, one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to print out 19 at the bottom. Okay, now let's get rid of these comments and do a for loop and show you that. Look at that. Okay, there's all your numbers. So this is a very helpful tool of organizing numbers and and well numbers in this case because it's an integer, but you can store strings or, or chars or longs or or anything like that. Um, you can also store objects, but not in these basic arrays. Those are going to be called array lists where you can store objects. And that'll be a little bit later on down the line of learning these uh, basic Java. So I'm going to probably get into two dimensional arrays next or see if there's anything I'd, I feel like I didn't cover very well and get back and then make a video on that. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this comment if there's anything you don't understand and I'll try my best to get back to you so thank you all very much and have a good night